Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Force Feed for this Thursday, March 29th. Today we will be discussing Ghost Recon Future Soldiers Guerrilla Mode, Warhammer 40k Dark Millennium no longer planned as an MMO, Legend of Grimrock gets a release date, Mozilla's browser-based free-to-play MMO, and Silicon Knight's head says that used game sales will cannibalize the industry. A new developer diary for Ghost Recon Future Soldier was released today. The video introduces the game's Guerrilla Mode. Guerrilla Mode is Future Soldier's version of multiplayer horde mode. In it, you and your friends must fend off waves of enemies while securing key locations throughout the map. The locations will change every 10 waves, forcing your team to use different tactics to complete your mission. Future Soldier is coming to consoles on May 22nd in North America and May 24th in Europe, with a PC release arriving at a later date. If you were looking forward to playing Warhammer 40k Dark Millennium with many of your friends, prepare to be disappointed. Initially set to be an MMO, Dark Millennium is now a single-player game. THQ announced today that they will be removing the online portion of the game and switching its focus to a solo experience with some multiplayer aspects. The publisher had been looking for partners to launch the MMO, but didn't receive the support that they had hoped for. As a result of the game's shift away from the MMO model, THQ has laid off 118 employees at Vigil Games, the developer working on the project. The old-school style dungeon crawler Legend of Grimrock has a release date. Legend of Grimrock takes players back to the good old days of dungeon crawling RPGs. One dungeon riddled with puzzles, traps, and monsters. The game moves on a grid which could be bothersome to a few, but could also really add to the suspense. Despite the grid movement limitation, the game features real-time combat while you control four player-created heroes. Legend of Grimrock comes to the PC on April 11th for $14.99. I'll be checking out this game if for no other reason than the nostalgia that it'll bring. They just don't make games like this anymore, and maybe that's for a good reason. I guess we'll find out on April 11th. Mozilla has introduced its free-to-play browser-based MMO, Browser Quest. A retro-styled MMO, Browser Quest has you slaying demons and collecting loot alone or with friends. Written in HTML5, Browser Quest can be played across many different browsers, including Firefox, Chrome, and Safari, and on many different platforms, including PC, tablets, and phones. To play Browser Quest right this second, check out the link available below. Head of Silicon Knights Dennis Dyack has said that used games will be the death of the industry. In an interview with GamesIndustry.biz, Dyack spoke on the matter of used games, saying, There used to be something in games for 20 years called a tale, where, say you have a game called Warcraft that would sell for 10 years. Because there are no used games, you could actually sell a game for a long time, and get recurring revenue for quite a while. Recurring revenue is very key. He then said, if used games continue the way that they are, it's going to cannibalize, there's not going to be an industry. We've talked quite a bit about used games and how they affect developers in the industry. At the same time, we've also talked about the fact that many other industries deal with this exact same thing. A product is purchased, sold, and then rebought. Whoever rebuys the product obviously isn't giving any money to the company that originally sold it and they seem to just deal with it fine. Knowing that this happens elsewhere, why do you think the game industry has been having such a push against used game sales? I mean, take a look at the recent rumors of the upcoming Xbox and PlayStation, and the fact that they may very well not play used games at all. And then you look at digital distribution through things like Steam and Origin, there's no used games associated with that at all. Do you think this is the right direction for the industry, and should we be supporting developers in trying to prevent the sale of used games, or should they just deal with it like many other industries already do? Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of The Force Feed. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow for another episode keeping you up to date on all the most recent gaming news and announcements. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. I don't think I've introduced you before to my camera guy. Uh, his name's Sean, we've been friends for a while. Say hello, Sean. Uh, don't mind him, he's just a little bit quiet. We're just playing some D&D &D right now, so don't mind us. Um, can you roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk? Actually, no, no, no. You know what? Uh, let, me cast, let me cast Magic Missile. Yep. Don't tell me there's nothing to attack. I'm attacking the darkness. This guy's the worst dungeon master ever.